Your Washington Times XP and in the latest news, in the wake of Donald Trump's recent victory in the US elections, Canada is preparing for a possible influx of migrants from the United States. Now with Trump's campaign promise of the largest deportation operation in the US history, some Canadian leaders are concerned about the impact that this could have on their own country, like their borders and their resources. But here's the question, why Canada is preparing for the influx? So, the estimate suggests that around 11 million undocumented migrants live in the United States. And with this, Trump's running mate, J.D. Waynes, uh, has said that they could remove up to 1 million people per year. Now, in the anticipation of increased border crossing, the RCMP in Quebec and the Canada Border Service Agency have developed a plan, including boosting patrol and surveillance along the border. Now, if we are talking about Quebec, then there, Premier Francois Legault warned of potential turbulence at the border, as the province's ability to integrate new arrivals has already been stretched thin. Bloc Quebecois' leader echoed their concern, urging Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to ensure that Canada is ready for this possible wave of migrants. Trudeau has accused Canadians that the government is committed to broader security and managing any increase in the asylum seeker. But let me remind you, this situation is not new for Canada. Back in 2017, when the Trump administration ended the temporary protected status for Haitian in the US, thousands crossed into Canada at the Roxon Road border in Quebec. That crossing point, a common entry spot for the asylum seekers, was officially closed in 2023. But similar crossing could start again if deportation increased in the United States. But here are a few challenges. Surgeon Charles Pioder from the RCMP has mentioned that these migrants, specifically those who are crossing irregularly, risk exposure to severe winter conditions. RCMP plans include bringing in officers from other provinces, increasing patrol, and even providing support for those at risk of frostbite and hypothermia. Let's shift our focus to what experts say. Experts like migration lawyer Richard believe that Canada should brace itself for a tsunami of people seeking for safety and stability. He noted that immediately after Trump's victory, his office received calls from people exploring their options to move to Canada. Many of these potential facing deportations see Canada as a safe heaven where they might find temporary security or buy time as the asylum process in Canada can take years. If we see this from an Indian perspective, then this situation has a special place for the Indian diaspora in North America. Both the US and Canada are home to significant Indian community and many of those who are undocumented might consider Canada as an alternative if they face deportation. Canada is already a top choice for Indians seeking for stability and better opportunity. And any influx of migrants could affect the immigration policy and processing time impact those planning to move legally. As Canada prepares for this potential migration wave, the government is working to balance security with the compassion ready to adopt whether the future may hold. For more such videos, do follow Times XP.